Hey, hello. Uh, thanks for joining me with this Art Appreciation Class 101. Um, I thought I'd share. It's been rainy this weekend, so I looked through old art books and wanted to show you my favorite artists. This is Edward Hopper, American Realism. Very simple, smooth strokes, uh, subtle messages. Um, here's a simple scene at a diner. Uh, yesterday I talked about Norman Rockwell. Sorry, I'm just have some notes here. Edward Hopper, simple yet very striking. Oil paintings, realism. Uh, famous for Nighthawk, Nighthawks. Uh, themes of isolation and loneliness. So... I guess it's kind of sad, but isolation and loneliness, but I, I like it. It's a good um, scene of American life to me. Uh, very talented artist. Uh, I think everybody loves likes Impressionism. Or some good pictures. Uh, one of my favorite artists is Gustave Calibre. Uh, it's French. I don't know how to say it. He was an engineer. Very meticulous, it looks like, in angles. I love this building right here with the angle. And very detailed and he also did pictures of simple people working class here's some people swimming I've never seen this one before I even even though it's a simple picture and we could take lots of photographs of it I, I like how he's uh, positioned there uh, perfectly going in for a swim and we talked about Van Gogh and there's Monet. Do you like Monet? It's, I think he drew when he had eye problems, so some of his pictures I don't like as much. But it does leave a good impression. Look at all those pretty flowers. The Garden at Giverny. Let's go to the Garden at Giverny. Okay, where's Renoir? Degas. Okay, here's Pierre Auguste Renoir, 1876 in France. And this is a little more crowded than Edward Hopper, isn't it? It's an everyday scene, drinking, talking to men, dancing. Beautiful, isn't it? Sometimes I go to the ocean and see these scenes, and whoop. sometimes, uh, and I just want to take a picture of them or paint them and show different uh, lifestyles, different people doing different things. Humanity is a beautiful thing. It shows. Lovely girl. Sorry, the light's right on it. And I like art because it's pretty lovely. Shows humankind. Oh, you can also do animals as well. <laughs> this is Magritte. Um, he was a surrealist. And I just like his imagination. Why are there people... Coming down like rain. It's kind of silly, but he was such a good artist as as well. Um, so I, my notes were impressionism is natural light and brush strokes. We just looked at impressionism. Uh, surrealism is parts of realism brought together. I think it's very creative, irrational but can be fun too. 
and Dali was the most famous uh, surrealist artist. And realism, like Edward Hopper, is everyday life. Um, let's see, what pictures did I have? Some of these. Ooh, there was a nice moon last night. I don't know if you saw it. And it reminded me of this picture. The, I saw it last night. I saw a tree with the moon next to it. But here, Magritte has the moon in front of a tree or inside of a tree. Brilliant. That's very interesting. Here's some bread. I don't know if he's a Christian. This reminds me of communion, bread of life. And why is this guy facing back? his back to us there's also in the bible there's uh i'm gonna god said i think for you have i'm going to turn my back on you which god hardly ever says unless we sin a lot and won't repent um i think it the verse that i drew out was you have turned your back to god so don't turn your back to god turn right around and if this one's a fun one, a big apple. One time I was looking at a tree with cardinals in it, and I'm just like, those are like tomatoes in the tree. So there's a big apple in a room. You know, how fun is that? You know? So I don't know if you like surrealism or not. Let's move on from Magritte. This Edward Hopper again. Uh, Chagall. He was Jewish. It's almost surreal, but I, I think I, with a green face there, but I'd call him impressionist, impressionism, because he gives good impressions and not different uh, paint brushing strokes, unusual stroke, right? Paint brushes, strokes. Um, so it's kind of, I'll say it's a mixture of impressionism and surrealism, so. I think he was much in love with his wife and drew a lot of pictures of, painted a lot of pictures of her and how much he was in love. A lot of kissing pictures, things like that. Uh, he was Jewish, but he was fascinated with the cross. Maybe he was a Christian, only God knows the heart. And here's a picture of Jesus. And I'm not sure the the story on this. Um, he, he was in World War II. And maybe somebody's fleeing over here from destruction going on. And I'll just show one more. Maybe this is his bride. It's called Midsummer's Night's Dream. I think it's from Shakespeare. I'm not sure. Uh, so I just love his colors, a little bit of romance with a bride, a lot of flying, I'll fly away, it's one of my favorite songs, I'll fly away, and I'll finish up with Edward Hicks, there's a lot of religion in painting, and this is called Peaceable Kingdom. By Edward Hicks and I lost my little notepad but uh, his name is H-I-C-K-S Edward Hicks uh, in heaven the lion will be laid down with the lamb there will be the child will be with the snake I guess the children will be with the child will be with the lion and we'll all live this was a calendar or something address book everyone will leave live in peace and harmony with the good lord and jesus the good lord jesus will say won't that be nice no more tears no more death no more pain looks like the bear and the cow down here at the bottom okay well enjoy art when you can and I will talk to you later. Maybe we could go to a museum sometime together, right? God bless. Bye-bye.